Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your bonus reading. I hope everybody is having a great day. I do want to take a quick second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every single Cancer out there. So if you find that you're in that situation, just check your other signs and placements and see if your messages may be there. Keep in mind the energies can reverse or flip-flop. And so if it is resonating, just get in where you fit in, guys. And as always, please don't try to force yourself into a reading that's not for you. All right, Cancer, let's get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Cancer? All right, Cancer, you are starting out with the Nine of Wands reversed. You have the Ten of Cups. And you have the Eight of Cups. So you've walked away from something that has been very displeasing to, to you. But you're walking right into your, your happiness, your total fulfillment. I feel like this was a long battle for you. Um, you've, you've obviously overcome quite a bit. I think it was difficult. It was a long and tiring process. But you've walked away from someone or something that just exhausted you. It wasn't fulfilling you. But you've walked right into your Ten of Cups. Right into, um, for some of you, this is a relationship. It's definitely emotional fulfillment. Um, but it looks like it's a relationship. And it looks like um, you may be settling down with this person. You could be having children. Either way, it's total emotional fulfillment here. So let's see who's in your energy. Spirit, show me who is in Cancer's energy, please. Okay, so the Tower, the Nine of Swords, and the Six of Swords. So somebody is seeing you go into this, this emotionally fulfilling experience. And it does look like it is a relationship for a lot of you, but it doesn't have to be. And they have been so stressed out about this. They're, it caused a tower moment for them. I do feel like they, they feel like everything has collapsed between the two of you. So this is, a, a, this looks like what you walked away from. It's left somebody in a whole lot of anxiety. I'm hearing monsters at the door, and I take it that that is most likely internal things, um, because I do feel like this person, you know, they think about you a lot, they think about this connection, and it's just, there's tears being cried, they definitely think about you more at night. Now, this person is beginning to move forward, we see that in this particular Six of Swords, this person is moving forward solo. So, I do feel like they're accepting the fact that, you know, they have to move forward because it caused a tower moment for them. So, let's see the energy between the two of you. All right, we have the three of wands reversed. So, you're both understanding now that your future does not lie with each other. You're... You may have waited for this person to come forward and try to resolve problems with you, um, but I feel like you're no longer waiting for this person. You solve the problems on your own, and I feel like this person that's in your energy is having to accept this. So, let's see. Maybe this person just waited too long. Show me uh, what's affecting this connection. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. A passionate new beginning. So you have a very passionate new beginning that is going to be bringing you a lot of emotional contentment, Cancer. And the person that's in your energy is seeing this and they don't want to see it. They don't want to believe that this is happening, but it is. And they're, they are going to finally accept it. Let me see the um, outcome for Cancer in this person. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Oh, you might be a little bitter towards them or them a little bitter towards you. So there's a little bit of bitterness. Be careful about that um, because you don't have time for that, Cancer. You you have such a, a wonderful, new, passionate, loving beginning that's happening here. Um, and you don't have time for bitterness. So I don't see you taking any action towards them, nor them taking action towards you. They are accepting that they have to move forward in life. Bottom of the deck is the Five of Swords in the reverse. 
You may have had some conflict about this, um, this decision in the very beginning. I don't feel like you do any longer. I also feel like if there has been conflict between you two, that the conflict is over, but it looks to be over because you've walked away from this connection. So let's see uh, the clarification. Spirit, why is the Nine of Wands reversed? I do get the feeling like you learned a lot of lessons from this, but you, this person wore you out. Nine of Cups, Ace of Wands. Yeah, you're, you're resolving your own problems. Um, you're, you're over this. You, you've given up hope on this connection. You're no longer waiting around for this person. Um, some of you may have waited for this person for a while. Why? Well, because you have this Ace of Wands here, and it's your wish fulfillment. So this new beginning that you have is is very passionate, a lot of love involved, and it is exactly what you were hoping and wishing for. So let me see why the nine of or the ten of cups is here. The fool in reverse and the star card. Yeah, you may have a little bit of fear involved with this new beginning. Um, but remember, you've learned a lot of lessons from this other relationship. You're definitely not... You could have been offered a new beginning with this person, but you're you're not doing that. Um, you've healed your energy, and that's what is bringing forward all this happiness and contentment. So, I mean, on the surface, it would appear that you're feeling happy and content because of this new beginning... But there, it's deeper than that. With the star card here, you've, you've balanced yourself out. You've balanced out your emotions. And you made a conscious decision to walk away from this situation. To, to not go into, you know, a new beginning with this person. You healed. And this is what's bringing you the emotional contentment. And that is underlining the new beginning that you have here. So it's much deeper. I feel like a lot of you guys really went through a very difficult time in this connection, but you've done a lot of healing on your own. It's underpinning this new beginning, and so it's just leading to more and more contentment. It's building, you know, on itself. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Your energy looks really good. All right, we have the Two of Coins reversed. And the Five of Cups, yeah. Yeah, you walked away from a situation that was leaving you feeling sad. It could have been third-party energy where somebody may have been giving their emotions to more than one situation. It was causing imbalance in your life. And I feel like you, when you walked away from this person, you, you didn't walk away towards someone else. You walked away on your own, did your healing, and there was love waiting around the corner for you that you didn't even see. You didn't even see, and that's actually really good because you didn't jump from one situation into the next. You you healed your energy. So I have to say, Cancer, because I've done your readings for quite some time, and my Cancer crowd is, you know, very loyal. You guys, um, you know, generally get two readings a week because you have the highest viewership. I'm very connected with my Cancer crowd. Actually, even in life, I'm surrounded by cancer signs. And I have to say, you guys really did go through quite a rough period here. And I feel like you have healed yourself and you've come out of it like a champ. So I think your energy looks really good. And I think that you're, you're heading into a really beautiful time in your life. Now, let me, and look at that. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Cups again. So let's see this person's energy. Spirit, why is the tower here? Knowing that you were not waiting around for them caused them to have this tower moment. I think this person thought you were going to wait for them. You were going to always be there. Okay, so eight of coins and the two of swords. This person was wishy-washy. They went back and forth. They couldn't make a decision. Um, they kept looking at the details and they, you know, they would go back and forth, back and forth. I feel like they, um, they, they wouldn't make a decision regarding this relationship. So now, now they're looking at the details of what happened here. And I feel like, you know, I feel like they want to remain blind to, to what actually occurred, but they're being forced to kind of look at what has actually occurred. 
I will say this person also um, is probably, you know, dealing with things, coping with things by burying themselves in their work. So let me see why this Nine of Swords is here. See, but then they come home when they're, they're getting ready to go to bed. They probably lose sleep, you know. They're thinking about all the details, what occurred here. And I think they're being kind of confronted with the fact that they they were wishy-washy. They went back and forth. They were indecisive, couldn't make a decision. Yeah, they're really in their head. Wow. They were, they're wishing that you would not have walked away. They may have walked away from the connection first um, and then regretted that. They have regrets if they did. If they walked away from this connection, they definitely have regrets. Um, but they're way in their head. They are almost obsessively thinking about you. At first, it appeared it was just like, you know, nighttime, I can't sleep. But it's also during the day. They're very obsessed with the fact that you have this new beginning happening. This has rocked their world. Um, let me see. Because like I said, I feel like this person, you know, I feel like they, they thought that you were going to wait for them. Seven of... Swords. So they've got some sneaky energy. And then the nine of coins reversed. So this person in your energy, <laughs> they know they have to move forward. And they, they're, they're being confronted with their own behavior. Not only were they indecisive, but they had some sneaky behaviors here. There were some decisions made that were, were very sneaky. It looks like it involved third-party energy for a lot of you. This person could have been pretending to be single when they weren't. Um, and in fact, it's showing that they're not single now. But they don't, they don't want that coming out. So they're being very secretive about that. It's really weird though because I do see that um, now, some of them might be in a situation they can't walk away from for some reason. I don't know. But I, I will say that this person has some sneaky energy and that they did pretend to be single when they weren't single. Um, they also tried to, to create, like deliberately tried to create a codependency in this connection. So you could have had a trauma bond with this person or some sort of a codependent connection with them. And it's backfired on them because I think they kind of became a little codependent on you. And then you chose to go in another direction and heal yourself. So let's see the energy between the two of you. Yeah, I feel like this person has a sneaky nature. They, they're they not up front. They, they don't want to make a decision. They, it's like they, they wouldn't like totally commit. But they didn't want to go away either. And it's because they felt you were going to always be there. And you were till you weren't. <laughs> yeah. Ten of swords reversed. You're healing. You may have felt this person betrayed you. Knight of pentacles. They were moving very slow. And they were keeping you on the line. Basically, they kept you on the hook. Um, trying to decide, you know, were they going to offer you something or not? You know, they were just moving very, very slow. Now they actually want to come forward and offer you something, but I feel like it's way too late because you have a wish fulfillment with this new beginning. This is rocking their world, but it's actually very healing for you. So let me see why the Ace of Wands is here. Like we don't know. I feel like you manifested this. No, thank you. Yeah, you're not moving forward with this person whatsoever. You have your own new beginning. But you, even if you didn't have this new beginning, you weren't going to move forward with this person because you were healing. You were healing yourself. And so you're coming from such a strong standpoint, Cancer. Yeah, um, some of you may have moved, literally moved away from this person. You may, may have relocated so you're not around this person but I feel like you know it's just a no-go you're they may have offered to you know they may have come back into your energy for some of you um and tried to offer you something but they were approaching here as a knight yeah so it, you know I would have felt better if it was like a king but I feel like if they did offer you something you were like I don't think so 
I, I'm with somebody else or I'm, I've got my own new beginning. I'm really happy and because I see you turning down, um, some of you turning down the possibility of a new beginning with this person and it's because your energy is very balanced. You're emotionally very balanced and happy. Um, and again, I have to emphasize that that happiness appeared to occur not in its entirety, but a great part of it from the healing, not from this new connection that you have. So, and it looks like a balanced connection too. Um, this person's energy, they're almost obsessive because they know you have this new beginning. So they may be pretending that they're, they don't see this, pretending that they're not noticing it, but they are literally obsessing over it. They're literally obsessing over it. They, they didn't want you to walk away. And now I think they're sitting in regrets. They, they failed to, they were failing to see what you were bringing to the table. And this is what promoted this indecision for them. So I think that they're now looking at the past and they're, you know, they're regretful. So let me see why this Queen of Wands is here in reverse. Strength card in reverse. And the four of coins. They are still holding on to you, though. They're not going to do anything about it, but energetically, they're still holding on to you, which is why they're showing up in your reading. Um, they could be very deceptive with somebody else that they are, are with, because they are moving forward, but there's some deception in how they're moving forward. Um, and that's stemming from codependency in some manner. I do feel that this person um, could be a little bitter, but they're just absolutely obsessed, and that's why you're, they're still showing up in your energy. And I know, you know, a lot of you just are done with this. You're ready to, you know, get this person out of your energy. So you can do a cord cutting. Um, there's some really good videos on YouTube. Just do a search for cord cutting meditation, and that might be helpful for you. But I feel like you you feel like this person needs to work on themselves. You did the work. Um, you identified what was taking place. You realized that you had to work on yourself, that you were unbalanced, and that's why you walked away from this entirely. So I feel like you, you went through a difficult time. I can see that. Walking away from this wasn't easy for you. Um, and that you do still have some work to do. Um, if you are feeling a little bitter towards this person, that's something you do need to address because, you know, you don't have time for that cancer. You have so many good things happening here for you. Um, and it does keep you attached to this person as well. And that's not what you want. So if you ever were to confront this person, and I don't see that happening, there doesn't seem to be any communication happening here. Um, but if you were, this person is not going to be honest with you. They're going to be very defensive um, about why they, they did or didn't do the things that they, you know, um, were trying to make these decisions about. They're going to be defensive, but in honesty, they won't be honest with you. Okay, so bottom of the deck is the Three of Wands. This is an indication that you are waiting for something, and it looks like you're waiting for your ships to come in. Well, they're here, baby. So I think that... Um, I think that you no longer have conflict with regard to this person. You're just waiting for all the good things to come into your life. And, and they are. They're flowing. Keep doing the work. Um, if, you, if you're recognizing that you have a little bit of bitterness still towards this person, do a cord cutting meditation. I think that might be effective. Um, and you can also... Um, you can also do... Like healing meditations are very effective as well. So... All right, let's see if uh, I brought out my Foxfire deck. I love my Foxfire deck. It's one of my very favorites. So let's see what kind of information we get for you. Spirit, I am pulling for the sign of Cancer. Cancer. All right. Yeah, number 17. And 17 condenses to 8. Eight is all about walking away from things that are not serving you. So in that is growth. Isn't that a beautiful card too? I love this card. 
All right, so I'm going to read that for you. Give me just a second, guys. All right, it says, You have a natural connection to magic, and at this time, you are growing in your powers. Some of these powers are very new and very young, and it will be your task moving forward to nurture one in particular, because this seemingly humble beginning has great promise and many gifts to offer you. This tender new beginning is goddess given to you, and this goddess of the Kitsune realms is one who helps seekers to access their own personal strengths and hidden talents and climb towards the sun, their powers growing in strength all the time. Like the ivy, your talents will grow, you will climb, and the light will be reached. You are to nurture these newfound talents and strengths and whatever sweet new beginnings are about you and strengthen them so that they can be sustained for many years to come. You will be taken on many an adventure with the growth of this ability and so many opportunities will be created. Don't let go of your dreams. Hold on, climb high and grow and seek and find. Always reach for the light and know that as you grow, you make everything beautiful. Find strong people to be around and learn from their endurance and fortitude. Nurture your dreams by day and by night and let yourself be enriched by dreams. So some of you guys could be going through some sort of ascension as well. Um, you're definitely growing in your, in not only your emotional, but your mental and your spiritual powers. Um, so I feel like, you know, the experience you did have with this person may have kick-started you into this ascension, but now it's on you. And I feel like you are definitely growing. There's a lot of growth that's happening here. So I am thrilled for you, Cancer. This is a fabulous reading. I am delighted to give you this reading. So I do hope that this has been helpful. If you've resonated with this, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe. And until I see you guys in your next reading, namaste.